Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Chris and welcome to Path to Wellness. Today's video is three easy tips on how to thrive long term on a plant-based vegan lifestyle. And I'm now seven years plant-based. So if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button and check the bell so you're notified of all my new videos. And I do appreciate the support. So three quick tips on how to thrive long term on a plant-based vegan lifestyle. Number one, make sure you get enough calories. Now the foods on a plant-based lifestyle are likely more calorie dilute, not as calorie rich as foods that you might be used to eating. So you gotta make sure that you're getting enough food and enough calories to sustain you and thrive. So that's one of the big mistakes people make is they don't eat enough food, they don't eat enough calories, they're not used to the volume, and then they fail. So that's number one. Number two, is make sure you eat a variety of plant foods to make sure you're getting all the nutrition that the body needs. So I keep things pretty simple, but I do eat a pretty good variety of plant foods. I'm gonna be showing you today what I eat in a day, hope to give you some ideas to make sure that you're getting everything the body needs. Number three is make the transition slowly if needed. Your body and your digestion might not be used to all the more water-rich, fiber-rich foods and a plant-based diet. So if you're having problems with digestion or anything like that, maybe you need to make the transition slower, introduce foods more slowly, that may be needed. So those are three quick tips and it's about 12.30, so I am going to have my first meal of the day. Again, if you're familiar with my channel, you know I promote intermittent fasting, so I usually eat in between a four and an eight hour window on most days. And I'm gonna start off with a smoothie. I just did a workout, so I'm pretty hungry. Um, but I'm just gonna start off with a small smoothie to get things started. So I have two cups of frozen blueberries. Whoops. I have a few bananas I'm gonna put in there. And today I'm gonna to use some almond milk. And then I'm gonna throw in a few tablespoons of soaked chia seeds, one of my favorites. So we're just gonna get it started like this, nice and simple. Oops. Sweet smoothie has started out, and we'll be back soon with what I'm having next. All right, now it's about 2.45. I just put together this big smoothie here. It's about a liter, not too big. Uh, this is gonna be good. This has about three bananas. Two of them are frozen. It has some power greens, which is like kale, chard, and spinach. They're all baby, baby kale, baby chard, spinach, things like that. And a couple big tablespoons of cocoa powder and some water. So I'm looking forward to that, and I'll be back soon with what I'm having next. At about 5 p.m., I had a couple of oranges. Navel oranges are really sweet right now. I love those things. So those at 5, and then at 6 o'clock, I got a big salad. And mixed greens, cucumber, avocado, apples, and celery. So huge fan of big salads. Cut that all up, and that was at 6. And then just after that, I put together a peanut butter and banana sandwich on some Dave's bread, and I had some split pea McDougal soup. That was really good. And then I had an apple. So thanks for watching, everyone. Give a thumbs up if you liked the video, and we'll be back soon with another video. Bye-bye.